So we had a, uh, a comment uh, asking how I uh, how I protected the chickens from foxes. Uh, something I see I haven't talked about, so I'll have a quick look at that now. Uh, just your normal chicken wire I've got all the way around, and then I get over this side. Uh, I had this this roll of wire, but it's got big gaps in it. Uh, but what I've done is, I'll show you down there, probably be easier. I have wrapped that all the way around the bottom half of the run. Uh, this wood here is just for the blocking a bit for wind. I mean, that could also help stopping the foxes getting in. But yeah, this just goes all the way around. And then what I've done is, because the gaps were quite big, I've, uh, I've overlaid it off a bit just so it's uh so the gaps are a little bit smaller so it's actually got two uh two bits of metal wire fence running all the way around uh the pavement slabs go all the way around the run uh bar this end here it's a little bit a bit dodgy but i've got like bricks and big concrete slabs there but this side here this this flimsy white tape is actually an electric fence so that does help especially this side here because I have always worried about this side of the run but with this electric fence here uh, it, it's been fine nothing's been down there I actually came on last night before I got this comment and I actually seen the fox coming out because they had my torch out it was pitch black but the fox was coming down this path here so I was just, say over by that shed down there, I don't know if you can see that shed. I was about down there when I seen the fox come out. So he's shining the torch here, seeing the eyes light up. And he just scarped on down this path here. But I did, uh, I say I did jog up a little bit, just to check around the perimeter, see if there's any uh, holes being dug or anything like that. And no, everything's fine, so we might have just been passing through. Because we have got this hedge that runs all the way around the uh, all the way around the site, so there will be some gaps and stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. That that seems to be uh, okay for me for now. I haven't really had to add any extras on. I mean, this plastic at the bottom again—that's just to uh, stop for wind and things like that. But even then, that's a little bit more protection. Something that the fox will have to get through. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's how it's been uh, fox-proof for me at the moment. And again, I've, I've had no no issues yet. And uh, let's hope it stays that way. Well, I uh, know. Thanks for your comment. Uh, thanks for showing interest, and uh, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well. This is your first time viewing. Hello, I'm Jay, welcome to the allotment. And just a quick shout out to all the new subs. Thanks for joining guys. Right, got some L brackets in today. So uh, I'm gonna get me raised bed sorted. Not a lot going on at the moment. Uh, it's only February now. Uh, the 2nd of February recording this anyway. Uh, yeah, so main fo focus is gonna be me raised beds and I've got a few areas to do around the, uh, the pond area. Uh, so while I get these beds sorted, I'm going to quickly look back at what I've been doing like the end of January. So I've just been working on this uh, back area again. Uh, this is, I've decided this is going to be my little garden area, a little place to chill. Uh, so I've got a few ideas. I've already made a start, I've made a bench out of one pallet. Uh, and it didn't take long. Uh, I did get the idea from YouTube, I've seen a an upload, it was about two years, I think it was 2019, uh, how to make a bench in 10 minutes out of a pallet. So we pretty much just stole that idea to be honest. Pretty simple. So yeah, uh, I think I might, uh, not 100% yet, I might do a little cover on the top, but we'll see. Uh, I'm just trying to get things organised now. So plan is, I'm going to have a couple of planters in the corners either side here of the bench. I'll probably be moving over across a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to put another little board around the pond there. Uh, some compost down. And then hopefully get some flowers along the pond, uh, pond edge here. 
Uh, I have got a few uh, tubs that I used uh, a few years ago when I was growing in my garden. Uh, they're just in the polyton, I'll grab them out in a sec, but I'm not going to actually plant anything in the ground other than this area here. Everything else is going to be in pots. And what I think I might, uh, one thing I've always wanted was a little uh, pomegranate tree. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a tree in the middle there. But again, it's not growing in the ground. I'm just going to have to get a big enough pot for it to grow in. So, it, you know, it gets to a reasonable size. And uh, a reasonable size for it to bear fruit anyway. So, yeah, so that's the plan. A couple of plants either side, a tree in the middle. Again, I'll probably have some more flowers running along the edge here. But uh, that's the plan. Oh, yeah, let me uh, up the trellis out as well, up gate. But yeah, that's the plan for now. I mean, you know what I'm like, I'll probably change my mind at some point. And uh, by the time I do another video, it'll all be different and it'll be nothing like what I decided in the first place, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Again, roughly what it's going to look like with the, uh, with all the tubs out. Sorry, <coughs> that's a bit. Uh, yeah, so that's what it's going to look like with all the tubs out. I say I had these, bought these years ago. Uh, it's what used to do me chilies in, in my old greenhouse uh, in the back garden. So, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I lost them at one point, but I'm glad I found them. So, so yeah, a couple around the border. I mean, these can always move around anyway. So that's it's one of the best things about doing it in the pots. I can uh, I can just shift shift thing around as and when I need to. Uh, yeah, but I probably need a bigger tub than that, a bigger plant pot. But yeah, that's the idea. A little tree in the middle, nice little bench to sit on. And I'll, sweet peas or morning glory or whatever growing up the sides there and then uh, hopefully I can uh, get this pond looking a little bit better uh, I think I might take this cover off I don't even know why I put it there I think I just put it there originally just to uh, stop all the leaves and stuff from uh, going into the pond but I think I'll probably end up getting rid of that and uh, yeah I know it's not the prettiest uh, he did, did have a pump when I first got in here as well, a little uh, solar panelled pump that I got off eBay. Made the mistake of leaving it in over winter. So that's pretty much uh, broke now. So yeah, I'm going to buy another one of them. Uh, and just make sure I take it out of winter so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't damage it. But yeah, that's, that's my idea so far and uh, it's all coming together nicely. Right, I'm back now. Got a fair few jobs done yesterday. Couldn't do much recording because there was this uh, big digger cutting the edge yesterday. So yeah, there was no way I was doing any uh, recording. So it's a lot quieter now. Uh, it is the third of February. It's about eight o'clock in the morning now. Just getting the uh, the trucks out, and uh, we'll do a quick do a quick plot tour. Uh, show you what I've done. So. Come on then. Go on then. Well, 
has my breakfast. Right, so starting in the coop, in the run, sorry, I've uh, added a few few shelving areas, uh, just a little bit of height, some more perches they can get up on if, uh, if it ever floods in there again, they can just hop on top there and uh, keep the feet a little bit drier. Uh, you always find them sat on top of the uh, coop here, as you can tell by the mess on top of it. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, give them something to, uh, to get up on. Right, so, what I've done, I've added a puff in the middle here instead of another bed because I'm possibly going to make this into a gate here. Maybe, not not sure yet. Oh, but that, or I could get like a little table chair there and a sundial or something, bird bath, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I think I'm going more for a gate, but we'll see how that plays out. Right, so I've got my beds done and I've uh, turned the soil over in the middle. So, not bad sizes. So, we've got five bigger beds. And then a little smaller one here. This one needs turning over still. And then I've got my three smaller ones. It's garlic in the end. Uh, nothing come through yet. That only got put through uh, put in a couple of weeks ago in my last video. So I'm not expecting that yet. Uh, I've managed to get another crate box. I don't know what these called. I'm just going to call it a crate box. Uh, for carrots. So I've got two of them now. These are going to go in this patch here. Just side to side. When I get rid of these uh, leaks. If that's what I can call them. Not the best, and it's uh, just it's just overgrown by grass, so they'll be taking a lot of nutrients nutrients from the soil. So, uh, so we'll get this cleaned up at some point. And uh, yeah, these two boxes are going to be going there for my carrots. And then moving on to the uh, the back end, which is uh, looking a lot better now. Uh, took the cover off the uh, the back of the pond there. I've added in my uh, me board around. Nice little stump in the middle there, which I think's from a lemon tree. So apparently that doesn't rot. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, that's just what I've heard. Uh, nice big plant up there. That tree is going. Don't even know what it is. Yeah, it's just there as a visual for now. Again, plant pots and that around the side. Uh, the bench has had a good little paint. So it's looking a lot better. I've got a pile of wood stuck down there. But I'll probably just turn that into like a bug hotel or something. Now I uh, I have bought a few things from Amazon that came through the other day. So I've got a bigger pot here that I've drilled holes in. Because I have a £10 on Amazon. Just a little uh, pomegranate tree. Don't know how long it's going to take. Don't know if it's going to work. But £10 off Amazon. We'll see how it goes again. Uh, I'm probably going to replant this today. I have got some stones in here for the bottom of the pot I have to draw some holes in. And I've got a tub down there with uh, sand and compost in. So uh, I'll get that done soon. Oh and another thing we've got as well uh, which was again this is just a tenner from Amazon. There's actually some uh, bird boxes which I'm gonna wear. Uh, I'm gonna plump them on the outside of the shed. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a little bit close quarters for the birds to go in and, you know, if I'm pottering around. But uh, I'm probably going to stick them in the corners and just see if uh, any birds show any interest. So they're going to go up and the pomegranate's going to go in. So before I uh, crack on with planting out the, or repotting the pomegranate, that's just going to stay in the greenhouse for now as well. Until I see any buds or there's any sort of life on it. Because in the minute it just looks like two sticks. So uh, the morning glory, uh, still nothing's come through yet. I reckon there's another good week on it yet. Uh, usually take up to between seven to twenty-one days. So and when it comes to the rest of the seeds, uh, again I'm not going to plant till mid February and February. I'm going to start getting like onions and uh, I get the chilies and tomatoes and things like that. And so. I haven't done a proper look at what seeds I've got yet. I will get that done at some point. But again, for now, I'm just going to get like the basics in. Uh, I'm not going to get too crazy this early on. Because if they do come up, uh, I'll have nowhere to put them in the greenhouse until the weather gets a little bit better. I mean, last fr frost date for us, it's usually around April. So, so yeah, I'll, get, I'll, get, uh, I'll make a start selling seeds at some point. 
but uh, for now I'm just going to get the pomegranate tree repotted. Right, so that's me pomegranate tree been repotted and the uh, bird boxes have been put up so uh, again it's going to be mid-February to end February when I start sowing some seeds and uh, the wood chip as well hopefully I can get that in at the end of February so uh, I have got a lot of cardboard here saved so as soon as I get the uh, close to getting the wood chip down I'll, uh, I'll start putting the cardboard down beforehand so uh, that's you all up to date. I think that's everything anyway. Yeah, that's you all up to date, guys. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.